Do you like shortcuts? I, I love a good shortcut. I love it whenever I find out that there's shortcuts for an application and it helps save me a ton of time when I'm doing repetitive tasks. So the tapper tip for today is all about shortcuts. There's lots of ways of working with shortcuts in Retool. The first one I'll speak about though is if you want to give your users, the users of your Retool app, the ability to use custom shortcuts for any number of different functions, opening modals, selecting inputs, deleting values, saving data, running queries, you can do this by clicking the ellipsis in the top right and going to custom shortcuts. For example, we can set one up to open a simple modal. Now when I press shift A, the modal will open. This allows you to create a more streamlined shortcut interface for your users, but it doesn't necessarily solve the problem of how do you build faster using shortcuts built into the Retool interface. There are four shortcuts built into the Retool interface that I will cover right now. Command D to duplicate a query. Command B to open and close the left side panel. and command enter to preview a query. And I'm saving the best one for last. The best shortcut in Retool, in my opinion, is called the Omnibox. When you press command K, the Omnibox lets you search for anything across your entire Retool organization. This could be apps, folders, resources, and you can open it up anywhere in Retool to really quickly find your way to wherever you want to go. I remember when I found the Omnibox and I felt like, oh, yes, this is a great shortcut. That's all for part one on shortcuts. Come back for a top tapper tip on, come back for a, <laughs> come back for a top tapper tip in part two. Yeah. Yeah.